We're here with fifth-year head coach Hugh Hurstman. Coach, you guys get back early this morning from a uh, from a match at, at Baylor last night. Obviously, um, probably not the full results you want in terms of the score, but but uh, talk a little bit about that match and and um, what you were able to get from that. Uh, you know, I thought I thought the biggest thing for us is we continue to I think get back to who we are um, and, and our team identity. You know, it's it's funny because when we started the season, a lot of our thought was we're at a point where we can really look to challenge and win a lot of matches. And I think that first weekend was a little bit of a, a little bit of a curse beating a top 25 team because I felt like for us then the. the the focus got onto something different, and for us, it's always been it's been this way since we've arrived. Is that we always build from beginning to the end, it always continues to get better and better, and and that's just the way our program works. It's the way our players work, and it's worked well for us the last couple of years. So I think the focus got a little bit twisted, and then I think you know losing Keeley also kind of threw us threw us a little bit off kilter. So I think the be the best thing that happened last weekend was us realizing we had to reestablish our identity. And I think that, you know, that last night was a really good match against a very good player team who's going to do well this year. Um, I think that to play well against them, to start establishing who we are again and get back to um, our process is probably the most important thing that happened yesterday. And, and talk a little bit about that. You get Keeley, which is such an integral part of your team, back. Um, talk a little bit about what that means and, and um, how she played last night in, in that first match back. Yeah, she's, she's such a good leader for us. I think that um, I think having her back calms the rest of the floor. And not to say that Bailey doesn't do a good job in there, but she doesn't have the experience that Keely does. Um, so Keely just does things that, are, um, that just make everybody else's job so much easier. So to have her back was, I think it had a calming effect on our whole floor. Uh, I think it had a calming effect on our staff. We really know what to expect from her. Um, she cleans up a lot of stuff for us, and she played well. I mean, if you ask her and talk to her afterwards, she thought she played bad. But she had 31 digs in four sets against a Big 12 team. It was very physical. So um, we thought she did a real good job. She, we thought she passed well. She defended well. She just she did things that Keely does well. And, um, it, was, it was good to have that. Now you you turn your attention to uh, to the War Eagle Classic this weekend with an opportunity to play some some quality teams, including Auburn. With it being the last non-conference play uh, in front of you, talk about you know what your expectations are, what you're hoping to see from your team, and, and to get out of this uh, this weekend. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be three three challenging matches again, just like last weekend. Uh, Auburn just went five with Florida State, who's ranked six in the nation, so it's a young team, but obviously a very talented team. Um, and then you've got some building programs. Terry Gamble's over at Jacksonville State, a good friend of ours that was over at McNeese. Um, so it'll be good to see him again. I know he's off to a pretty good start with them as well. So, you know, I think again for us, and, and we'll, I think we're probably learning our lesson here, is that I think preseason still has to be about us and how we um, can really build our team chemistry and our identity. And this year is a little bit more of a challenge because we just have so many more options. We've got players that are on the bench that can be starting. Um, for us at any given moment, so it might be a lineup decision, it might be a um, uh, who we're playing an opponent, it might just be some matchups here and there. So, so that's I think for us is we have to still explore uh, what options we've got um, while still trying to maybe try to settle to some degree on what we believe is going to be you know, a quote unquote starting lineup. And, and I've got to mention it as well for the uh, second consecutive Saturday, you guys are going to be appearing. On ESPN3, fans will be able to go online and watch. Talk a little bit about that and, and how cool that is. You, you guys are you're playing a little bit further away from home and, and certainly a little bit further away from home um, for, for some of the parents out there. You know, how cool of an opportunity is that to be featured uh, on a platform like that? You know, I, I think that our sport is getting more and more exposure, and I think the more exposure that it gets, um, it just speaks you know, real well for for what an exciting sport it is. Mm -hmm. and I think for our program to put ourselves in that situation to to have that kind of um, attention, you know, it's great for our fans, it's great for recruiting, it's great for our players that are in the program to, to you know, maybe recognize for what they're able to do. Um, so, you know, we're excited that our, our fans can see us. We're, we're excited that, um, you know, our supporters can see us. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it's just a really good, it's a good thing for, I think, our sport overall is just to get more and more exposure. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, and best of luck this weekend. All right, thanks.